All right. There's our back fender. We'll go over the whole project at the end with some heat. What this will do is help superset all this down, all these relief cuts. Same thing we do if they do a race car, they'll go over it with heat, set all that vinyl that's on there. We'll go on to the other side. We'll do these fenders up and then we'll show you how to finish up the rest of the bike. All right, now we've got all our fenders done. We're ready to put the last piece in. We've got a couple trim pieces up underneath the headlight and I've cut out a piece that we can lay over here. We've also done the front piece along the uh, headlights here. And the idea is that when we lay this last piece in, it's all gonna overlap and continue that shingle effect that we were talking about. So we'll pull the adhesive off and we'll lay this piece in here. Like I said before, you can pick this piece up and work with it as many times as it takes to get it the way you want it. We're going to start from the center and we're going to work our way out to the edges. Just lifting this piece up if need be to get the vinyl to lay flat. piece in here. We'll have to make some relief cuts here to allow this material to lay flat into this groove. We've got a little extra down here, we can trim that off. We've got our front piece put on here, so you might be able to just peek underneath here and see where you're at. a scalloped edge cut on the front there just to hide the seam.
there's the front. Got like a hood scoop right in here. So we'll see if we can cut that out, let it lay in there. Let's take a little heat and see what we can come up with. We'll just cut this opening out here and go to the other side and cut it out. Every four wheeler is different. The way they're designed, different openings that they have. But with the camo clad, as long as you don't have any wrinkles, use the heat gun and the, the relief cuts, you'll have a nice looking application when you get done. The beauty of the camouflage is it's just like when they build a shirt. The seams in the pockets and the sleeves where the seams are, the camel pattern doesn't match on your hat. All the panels that make up your hat, those, those seams, if you'll look at your camouflage clothing, those seams don't all line up. That tree doesn't continue where that seam is. So just like on an application here, you know, you, you may not have a continuous line of a tree, but when you get done with it, the overall product still looks nice just like your shirt does when you get it. Cut these openings out here, and that pretty well puts our hood piece all on here. We're ready to move to the back. We'll do right behind the seat, and uh, we'll be able to put the racks back on our four-wheeler, and uh, we'll be done. <laughs>